There we go. <gasps> Hi, chat. Hello, everyone. And uh, and welcome to oh my god, there's a there's a Twitch mode. I just realized someone said, oh, there's a Twitch mode on here. And I just realized that. That's gonna be cool. Okay, sure. How do I how do I play it on Twitch mode? I don't know. Oh. Uh Do we trust this integration? Do we try it? Sure, why not? Okay. I don't know if that worked or not. But apparently... Uh, well, hi chat. <gasps> hi chat. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we are going to be playing The Trolley Problem. Which is a, uh... Which is a, it's a, it's a moral based game based on like the, the trolley problem, which is, or it's trolley problem Inc. Which is based on the trolley problem, which is like the moral dilemma of like, oh, would you, would you like let one thing run over five people or purposely kill one person, you know? So basically it's going to reveal my morals, which is going to be great. It's going to be awesome. But, um, I don't know how streamer mode works. I... Mods is streamer mode. Streamer mode's good, right? Streamer mode. Streamer mode's chill. Because someone, one person said like you could have Twitch chat integrated into this, and then I realized, yes, I do want that. We can vote. Okay. Sure. So you guys will be able to vote on some of the morals, but at the end of the day, it's gonna be my choice. All right. At the end of the day, it's gonna be my choice on on you know so that we can reveal what i am as a person as a being so let's uh let's see that i'm gonna press continue on this thing okay hold on i should probably switch it over to the game okay i don't know if this is gonna work <laughs> i have no idea but thank you guys for 429 subs so far today thank you okay i don't know how this is gonna work if this just crashes my Twitch channel, then it's not my fault. Um, okay. The following We've got mail. Contains adult themes. Adult themes. Does not contain explicit language, sexual content, horror, or show violence. Oh, we're good. Okay, so doesn't show any bad stuff, basically. Player discretion is still you, you have to You have to choose who to murder. Your name below. But, um, it's not as bad. It's not as bad as you think. Every decision you make. Sure. All right. Sounds good. Hold on. Brand. There we go. Perfect. There's my signature, everyone. Feel free to put that on all the documents. Okay. Continue. It's quiet. I have it like max volume right now. It's just a quiet game. Welcome to Trolley Problem Inc. Founded to help people. Hey. Okay. Across the nation. All our employees must Okay, mods, you might have to responsibility, integrity. Mods, you might have to um mind, change the settings so that we can have this possible. So we can have this be possible. Let's see, let's see. I don't know if this will work or not. <laughs> the the chat's just going to be an, an endless wasteland for today, I think. Ah. Thank you for the five to ones. That happens when we're going to turn it up. Okay, it's not moving at all. Uh, welcome to Trolley Problem. Okay. Responsibility, integrity, and respect. With that in mind, let's start our training. Okay. It's, it's not doing anything. I don't know. I don't know if this is like... I think this is just a... I, I don't think actually it's supposed to move. It's a runaway trolley barreling down the railway tracks. Okay. On the tracks are five people unable to move you're next to a lever if you pull this lever the trolley will switch to a different set of uh, tracks uh uh you notice there is a person on the other track what do you do okay well like okay the thing is right okay this is this is my explanation all right this is my explanation to like the actual trolley problem basically if you know that five people are going to die right and you can and you have the opportunity to do something right Right, but then you but then you purposely don't so that your hands are free. Your hands are not free, because technically you like like you had some part, you didn't directly cause it, but you had some part in the murders. 
So I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna choose B. So you're just I'm gonna just choose B. What? No, I said I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull the lever. I'm gonna pull the lever. Because I'm saying like like inaction is still action. Oh well, thanks, thanks, lady. Jesus Christ, is she gonna be shaming me through this? Is she gonna be? Is she gonna be shaming me throughout this? My God. Chat is just gonna be a wasteland today. This is incredible. Ride the wave, boys. Ride the wave. <laughs> I just killed someone. That's awesome. Usually we don't expect candidates to kill someone on their first day. Technically, no, technically. Okay, whatever. Just think a little more before acting next time. You agree with 71.64% of players worldwide. Okay. All right. I didn't, I didn't kill. Well, no, I did technically. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. If it ain't it's broke, fine. Don't fix it. It's fine. I'm scared. This test will focus on the first principle, responsibility. responsibility. Okay. Miss Polly, she's five years old. While she the little girl in the yard problem? Oh, no. Oh, no. Polly's destiny is to grow up to be a great I'm, doctor. I'm concerned about this, actually. I'm very concerned. Okay. What's this a problem? Is heading towards another five people. Uh-huh. You're next to a lever. If you pull this lever, the trolley will derail and descend down a hill heading for the park sandpit. You notice <laughs> that Polly is in the <laughs> sculpting her. <laughs> what do you do? Okay, so surely there's a chance for like her to live, right? There's a chance right and like who knows maybe these other five people are like you know also sculpting their dream hospitals so i'm i'm sorry polly but you're about to get i'm i'm my oh i don't know but i feel bad because they've they've humanized the other person it's a kid well i don't know these these five people no shut up um no i'm sorry i'm gonna have to do it I'm gonna have to do it. Oh no. Bye -bye. Why have one hospital when we can have five? Exactly. Who knows what these people are making? What if these five people are also making hospitals, huh? It's not, I, uh, just because I, it actually is worse because I know Polly. It is a little worse, but I, I'd still, five people, five people. I just got an achievement called kill the child, no. No, no, that's not my fault. <laughs> odd take on being responsible. <laughs> this is awful. I thought this was gonna be fun. Primary cause of something, and so able to be blamed or credited for it. Are you to blame for the death of a young girl? No, I'm to blame. I'm equally to blame for the death of a young girl as I am to blame for the savior of five people. All right. I am. I am. It's equal. It's equal. Okay. I am I am just as responsible for saving those five people as I am for killing that child. So it's fine. It's fine. It's let me turn up the game more. Okay. It's fine. The end justifies the means. Oh, this is making me feel a lot worse than I thought it was going to. The key to this test is integrity. Okay. This is Tyrone. He is a 30-year-old secretary at a law firm who okay. enjoys binge-watching crime shows. Aw, that's nice. Tyrone is a very large man. Okay. I don't really know anything else about him, apart from the fact that he has a severe phobia of trains. Okay. So he has a bad... So there's someone that is afraid of trains. Now we are upping the ante. You are on a bridge with Tyrone, watching a trolley speeding to Oh! oh, oh no! Pushing Tyrone off the bridge. Oh! oh this is awful. Wait. Or let the train hit five people. Okay, so if I was like able to see into the future and I would know that pushing him off of the bridge would save the five people. Oh, that's more direct. That's so much more direct. I, I don't know. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So, but it's still saving five people, but it's also having the more direct murder of one person. Like, 
I don't know. One million people are starving in the world. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's not funny, is it? You're pushing Tyrone off the bridge <laughs> to save the orphans. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Well, Tyrone will thank you. He's planning to ah! watch a lot. Ah! Watch from bridge. I couldn't. I couldn't directly kill someone. I could. I couldn't directly kill someone. That is. That is more direct than pulling a lever. I can't. I can't do that. I can't do that. But you kill Polly. That's different. That's different because it is not like it's pulling a. It is separated. It is a separated action. Okay. It is a separated action, right? Like, there is a difference between, like, pulling a lever and pushing someone off of a bridge. I could not physically push someone off of a bridge. I would, I would not feel good. But I could easily, I could easily pull a lever. Like, the, like, like, having it directly, like, pushing someone adds, like, humanity. Wait, Tyrone has just had a heart attack anyway? What the hell? <laughs> Wait, that's just, that's just, that's just, that's just awful. What the hell? <gasps> Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? Okay, if I knew that, then I would have pushed him off the bridge. If I, if I knew that he was going to die anyway, I would have pushed him off the bridge. But my, my point is, is that pulling a lever, right? It takes away like the human part. It takes away like the like the humanity part, you know. But then directly pushing someone, like I have to watch their eyes as they die. I have to like I have to hear his screams, right? Where the lever, I could just pull the lever, walk away. You know, if I knew that he was gonna die anyway, then yeah, I would have pushed him off the bridge. <laughs> L. I don't think this is the right thing to L to. I'm gonna be real. Oh no! Don't bring animals into this. Now for the final call. Oh no! Respect. It seems we've run out of resources to continue. <laughs> Please don't put animals into this. No, this is awful. You will need to take the next trolley, so don't get distracted by that dog. The trolley oh, leaves no. in one minute. Oh no! Okay. There is a dying dog down on the tracks. No trolleys will use that line today, so the dog will not be hit. You're in a rush. Do you kill the dog, putting it out of its misery, or leave it to die, cold and alone? Ah! <laughs> this is awful. This is this is terrible. I I mean, I wouldn't want to directly kill I could never directly kill a dog. I could I could never directly kill a dog or a or like an animal or a, of any kind. I I couldn't directly kill a person either. But like I I could never yeah no. Let nature take its course. Don't I could I course. could never directly kill a dog. Like like in like a in like a non maybe like yeah no I couldn't. I couldn't. That is awful. It's crying? I know, but it's like I don't want to like what would I use I if I would to die alone. if I would like take it to a vet then yes but if I'm like bashing it it doesn't it depends on how I would kill it because so I would I would want to take it to a vet to have it like put down peacefully but I don't know if this game is gonna be like you bashed its head in with a rock and I'm just like I don't want that I don't want that this is terrible <laughs> this is an awful game who the hell recommended this when you respect something, you're meant to care about its feelings and wishes. I don't know if the dog wants to die. Oh, that's a terrible tally. That's a terrible tally. One dead dog, six people, kid. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Listen, if if they said that I would take it to a vet to have it, like, like, like put down peacefully, then yeah, if it's suffering, then yes. But so knowing this game, it would probably be like, you bashed in the, the, the dog said with a rock. Like, I don't want to have that on my conscience, okay? What did you do? You guys would have been so much... No, no, no. You guys would have been so much more upset if I directly killed the dog. You guys would have been so... Do not... Don't you dare go, Oh, you horrible person. You guys would have been so much more upset if I directly killed the dog.
all right? You would have you would have been like so upset at me. All right, so you guys all saying, oh, you you awful person. How could you just let it die? You let you, you horrible person. You guys would have, you guys would have been like, like, like off. Like you guys would have hated me. I'm going to be upset either way. Yeah, I'm going to be upset either way. When they showed that picture of the dog, I was like, oh, hell, this is awful. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> if you play with fire, you'll get burned. Okay. Can we like have me like not kill people? Oh, great. I've just heard those kids are back. Oh boy. They keep sneaking down onto the tracks. Oh boy. With all the training. <laughs> Stop the yelling at us. Able to decide a straightforward outcome for these reprobates. Okay. Just remember, respect, respect responsibility, responsibility, and integrity. integrity. Sounds good. All right. Five trespassers have snuck down onto the trolley line, even though signs warn them of the dangers. The trolley is currently heading for a co-worker. Do you let your co-worker die or sacrifice the delinquents? Oh, what do I... No, wait, now hold on. Why is it so far? Okay, I was about to say. I don't know. Because again, it is, it is genuinely like five people. It is five people as opposed to one. But the thing is, it is a co-worker. It is someone that I have like, I would assume an emotional attachment to. I do not have emotional attachment to these kids. If the trespassers weren't there, you would change the path, right? Yes, of course, it's my coworker. Like I would assume if, if the coworker dies, the family can sue and get rich. They'd be suing me. I, I assume that I would. You criminals over coworkers then? No, I'd, I'd kill the trespassers. I would, I would, I would have to like, I assume, I'm assuming because it is a coworker that I would have like an emotional attachment. I would have some kind of emotional attachment to this coworker, right? These, these kids, I don't, but it's still five kids, which sucks. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I would feel just as bad. Five kids. Oh no. Oh no. Results for the first week are in. I'll run these up the flagpole. <laughs> oh no. You can get sued either way. I, oh, I don't know. But did you like the coworker? I'm assuming that I, the, 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 the assumptions that I have made in that one is that I like the coworker and they are at least like partly my friend. Those are the assumptions that I made to make those decisions. If it was a coworker that is like, just a terrible, terrible person. Like a genuinely five sad families. Oh God. Oh no. Oh shoot. That that one chat message actually made me rethink everything. Oh no, you're so right about that. Oh no, I should have. Oh crap, okay. They could have gone to college. Wait, why is that? <laughs> why is that a reason why they should have lived? <laughs> Wait, you could have said like, they could have like grown up to like have a family, but instead you went, yeah, they're gonna go to school. So therefore they should have lived. What? Five kids that could have built hospitals. <laughs> oh God, you're right. They were all built. They all had little tiny model hospitals in their bags. They could have got degrees. Oh no. No, oh, no. Five families will sue you. It's not my fault. It's the it's the train. It's the train's fault. Dear sir, All right, what am I? We have been following your exemplar practice this week. I'm sorry for how loud that is, Jesus. And would like to thank you uh -huh. for your hard work. Yeah, no problem. Some challenging decisions had to this be is awful. We would this like is, to invite this you is to terrible. employment at the Trolley Health Corporation. This is terrible. This is a prestigious position. Trolley Health Corporation. Public safe through all walks of life. Oh, please tell me that it's not going to have me to do like hospital stuff. This is. Oh boy, here we go. 
It looks ah! like you pressed someone upstairs with last week's Oh boy. Answers. Okay. Here we go. You've been transferred to the Trolley Health Corporation. Here we go. Can we play another game? If this game's short, we're going to play a driving game after this so that I can hit people with cars and not feel morally bad. With justice. Justice. Oh no. Okay. Today, you'll be in A&E. A young male has come in from a car accident and urgently needs a heart transplant. There's only one in the hospital, and this heart is scheduled to be given to an elderly man waiting upstairs. He will surely die without it. Oh. Heart. Okay, so, mm, no, but, ah, oh, ah, ah, elderly man, right? elderly man right he doesn't like i i hate to say this i really really hate to say this but like the young one can build a hospital <laughs> that one that one got me that one got me sounds like his car may have caused the accident oh but you never no but you never know he's like driving a, a bad driver isn't like the the like the moral like high ground you know, News like this guy could be dead. Male has alcohol in his blood. Was he driving? Ah! Surely he'll learn his lesson. Surely he'll learn his lesson. Oh no. Oh no. The elderly man caused the car accident on purpose. Yeah, that's what we're going with. That's what we're going with. That's what we're going with. The elderly man caused the car accident. The elderly man caused the car accident. Okay, guys. All right. Elderly man caused the car accident. He's, he's evil. You made an excellent choice. Well done. Oh. The elderly man deserved that. Oh, much more. oh, screw you. Oh, oh screw you. Oh, wait. oh, screw you. Did you save the young guy? <laughs> oh, no. I oh, screw you. Screw you. Oh, damn, dude. It's like, you know, what happened to grandpa? Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I feel bad. Like, it, it, like my brain is also 50-50. These are not easy. These are not easy. I don't know. How old was the old guy? That's the, that's the, this is awful. This is, I feel so bad after every single one of these. I've not yet made a decision where I'm like, oh yeah, I was right. You can build a hospital and get a degree. Giga, please do not Giga Chad the, the dead grandpa. <laughs> someone said, someone said Giga Chad, he can build a hospital and resurrect the elderly man. Exactly, see, see. It's safe to assume that every single person that lives builds a hospital. <laughs> Rambu, when he has a moral dilemma in a game about moral dilemmas, that's fair. Okay, that's that one's fair. All right. Giga Chad L Grandpa. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> you can't win them all. Yeah, no, you really can't. You really can't, man. You're late. The hospital is rammed. Oh, Every no. staff member has their hands full. With so what? you're going to have to go out on the ward and help the sick. You. You. People. You. Remember, temperance. Restrain okay. Yourself and think Restrain it myself and think it through. Okay. A patient has begged to be euthanized. Euthanasia is currently illegal. You will have to be the one who gives the lethal dose. You will need to look into their eyes and end their life. What do you do? If I am, if I am a doctor, if, if I am a doctor, right? and I do something illegal. That means that I could lose my license. That means that I could then, that means that I could then prevent myself from, from helping more people. Hey, if I lose my license because of this, then that means that who knows the countless lives, if I am a doctor, that I wouldn't be able to save. This ain't about you. Well, even, even then, I would want to do the, like the, it, it sucks. It's awful. It's all, it's, it's a terrible, terrible decision. But if I, if like, like legally, like it, it sucks. It's, it really, really sucks. Especially because this is probably based around like the uh, American healthcare system, which is just like screwed, but oh no, it's so that, oh, because the thing is, oh, oh. I don't know if I'd be able to cover, like if, I, if I'm if i not able to cover it up, then I would lose my license, which means therefore countless lives would then not be saved because I would lose my license. That's what I'm saying. 
keeping them alive and in pain is what the majority of gods would have wanted. I'm not I'm God! My oh scene. my God. This is more hospitals. You just build another hospital. You're right. Ah, shoot. Could I just build another hospital? Crap. Build my own hospital. Get my own medical degree. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I agree with 60% of people. So. Giga Chad living in pain. You guys are not making this easy. <laughs> you guys, you guys are not making this easy at all. Giga Chad living in pain? Jesus Christ. Be slow in choosing, but oh no, I'm changing. gonna, oh man. The last few days have been tough. It was only a week ago. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, okay. They should be easier. Good. Repeat. All right, let's do this thing. Here we go. You have five patients. Each needs a different organ, but no organs are available. A healthy young traveler comes in for a routine checkup. Their organs are compatible with all five dying patients. Do you kill the tourist and use their organs to save the five in desperate need? That's one. Life That's like, life. no, absolutely not. That is like, I would never know. Oh my God. Steal their organs. No, 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 no. That is a, that is a tourist. That is extreme. That's even more illegal. That is even more illegal. All right. And and who knows? On their way to chug ayahuasca and get a culturally appropriated tribal tattoo. Jesus Christ! Ah! Just a routine checkup. Steal your organs. I'm not going to. I wouldn't. Away. Don't you want to save the many? Is his life worth it? It's more about my moral dilemma. Over the rest of my life, I will know that I purposely murdered someone. I, I believe that the, the, the purposeful murder, right? I think that outweighs the the, the potential of the... Ah! Ah! This is... This is awesome. Five more hospitals. Ah, oh, shoot. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, no. That's five less hospitals. Yeah, okay. One was researching into improving vaccines. Oh, no! They would have... They would have actually built a hospital! <laughs> no! We should have harvested their organs! Ah, crap! <laughs> ah, this is terrible! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Whatever, here's the next one. Can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. The funny part that this is the same problem. It's not the same problem, and I'll tell you why. Run the hospital. It's not the same problem. It's not the same problem as the first one. Central city. This. Am I able to pause it? Hold on. I want to. Okay. After this, I'm going to explain why that is not the same. It is not the same. Okay. Now run the hospital. Let's go. Okay. Do you start a mandatory vaccination program among children to stop this endemic site problem? Clinical trial data suggests the vaccine will make one in four yes. children severely ill. Oh, wait, does that mean that it would kill? Would it kill them? What's it? Wait, hold on. Wait, I have to... Hold on. I actually straight up don't know the difference between an endemic. Hold on. Give me a second. Restricted for a certain area. Okay, restricted to a certain place. Okay. Um. I mean, it wouldn't kill them, right? It wouldn't kill them. Each week, you will cause 1,000 children to be severely ill. Yeah, that's better than making 5,000 children. I would say that's better than making 5,000 children moderately ill, right? I don't know. Wait. No, but then who knows? Like, how did you answer the trolley one again? I don't know. Wait, no, but it wouldn't kill them, right? Would it kill them? Because I think, no, because people should be like vaccinated and everything, but like worse than the virus, would that kill them though? I don't know if, would that mean, does that mean murder? 
Or does that mean does that mean that they just get really really sick, but then they get but then they get better? And then then they are oh, immune Lord, to the virus. You have angered those parents. I don't care. A lot of messages coming in from a woman called Kim. Yeah, okay. They aren't dead. Sure they aren't dead. The they aren't dead. They aren't dead. They aren't dead. That's fine. If a if a Yeah. Okay. It is. You kill one person and save five or do nothing. I would say that it's different because it is not it is less direct. It is less direct. Right? It is less direct. Like with 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 a lever, right? With a lever and far away. Right? Okay. So people are saying that the that the that the first one is the same as the hospital one. If you if you put it down to its basics, then yes, it is the same. But but okay, hear me out. The lever is what makes it dehumanizing. It's what makes it's what makes it easier. Right? I have to see that tourist. I have to hear about that tourist. I have to then lie to that tourist to their face to say that they are going to die and then i have to then also lie to the five people which makes it so much more difficult than just pulling a lever there is a difference between pulling a lever and harvesting people's organs all right there, like the the lever is what caused it is what is what directly causes it, and this is probably making me sound awful, right? It, like, but the lever is is the thing that makes it not have a face, which then it still is awful, but it makes it easier. It's still don't get me wrong, it is still terrible, but it makes it easier than directly seeing someone having to lie to their face that they are going to die, having to go through that, then having having to do like all this other stuff. Calm down, it's not real. It's more fun if you get into it, okay? You guys, you guys weren't, you guys didn't come here to see me just go, oh, okay, numbers. No, you heard me to get, you, you want me to get into it, all right? You want me to get into the morality. And by God, am I going to? All right, we didn't lose a thousand hospitals, by the way. They're just really sick. This was a great stream idea. <laughs> okay. Prescribe. Wait, wait. Problems. Well, yeah, but like, it, it, there's a difference. <laughs> there's a difference. The both a thousand hospitals a little bit later than usual. Yeah, exactly. Your hospital. Exactly. Exactly. Noticed. Okay. Now going to have to make some big decisions. Big decisions. A lot of people. The four thousand children can make hospitals for the thousand children. <laughs> exactly exactly the four thousand children will make hospitals to help the one thousand children see <laughs> okay here's the next one try to develop breakthrough medicines for the endemic while testing placebos will be given to thousands of ill patients without proper treatment some will die today in the hope you could make a breakthrough tomorrow do you start the research? Wait, what is this one asking? Ah! Oh, what the hell was that? What the hell? I didn't... Jesus Christ, I was not expecting that. Oh my God. Is it going to do that more? I hate that. I was not expecting that. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. Um, Do you treat patients while testing placebos will be given so that they will die today in the hope that you can make a breakthrough tomorrow? So this is the sacrifice of few for the well-being of many? Is that what this is? That was Polly. Are the ghosts of the dead people going to come back to haunt me? Who needs new medicines anyway? I would say, I would say B. Even though it's awful, like it's, it's the, oh, it sucks. But it's, it's, it's the, it's the How potential. Candies and eggheads even it's the, it's the potential of saving like a lot of people over the definite saving of few but which is still difficult but okay oh boy okay developing new medicines is a smart move let's just let others treat the patients hopefully they will i agree with 70 percent. okay we're good we're good i'm just really worried that one day i'm gonna like make a decision that's gonna be like you agreed with no one <laughs> Everyone else, everyone else is, like, everyone else didn't choose this. Think of the hospitals. Oh, no. 
<laughs> oh, we're in the thousands. Oh, no. Why does it just show how many people I saved? Why does it only show the people killed? That has to be another psychology thing or whatever. Ah, ah, ah. I hate this. I hate this game. This game is not fun. It is fun. I'm having fun, but I'm also feeling awful. I feel really, really bad about each, it, each decision because I've just decided that I really want to get into this. So I feel awful. Don't, don't think that I just, I'm just like, oh yeah, no, well, I'll kill those people. A thousand hospitals. I know, I know. Insert underscore name. Congratulations. This letter is to ah! that this I is have awful. examined your work and believe you to be a perfect fit to fill the open position here in our artificial intelligence division. Okay. In this role, you will help oh, to boy. the next generation of driverless Oh cars. boy. The future is upon us. Future is upon us. Oh boy. Here we go. Familiarity breeds content. Here we go, everyone. Ah. Well, la -de da another promotion. I don't like, I don't like, I don't like this person's tone. Automotive division, SAD. They make me feel bad. First, your artificial 1,000 severely ill children, Pog you. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> ah. Ah. Okay. A self-driving automotive decision or sad. Oh boy, okay. Here we go. A driving car is traveling along a single lane mountain road and is fast approaching a narrow tunnel. The car has two passengers. A child runs across the road but trips, blocking the tunnel entrance. Should the AI car hit and kill the child or swerve off the cliff, killing both passengers? I don't want... What? Why why is it so far over? Why this is like the furthest over that it's been and it's for kill child. I I guess I guess it is uh I don't know because it's like also it's like the car so it should be like the that child Oh, uh, I don't know. As anyone else. Ah! Why do you do this to me? The child isn't a doctor. It's it's one hospital against two hospitals. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. You put this car on the road. Do you not feel responsible for their death? I do feel responsible. That's the thing. That's the thing that I hate about this. I guess. I guess. People in the car have to witness it. I guess. Yeah. But then, but what about the child? The child has to live. The child would have to live with the guilt of having two people killed. The two people would go to jail. It's a self-driving car, there so I don't know if they would go to jail. How does the computer know that something in the road <coughs> is human? Do we have good enough data sets? Currently, a lot of AI only recognizes white men. That's true. Isn't that a thing with cameras as well? Isn't, I, I could have sworn that I saw somewhere that like cameras were like based around like only like photographing like people that were white and even today, Cameras like have a much harder time like capturing different skin tones and like darker skin tones, apparently. Which is like really odd. Yeah, genuinely. Like because because when like like cameras were made and everything, like they just it was it was just racist, basically. And it was it was awful. And so basically what they what they what they did is they like based it around like only like like photographing and capturing like lighter skin tones, basically. And the the sad thing is, is that that has affected how cameras are made even today. So like even then people have had to like have like a, a, a like people have had to like change cameras like and change how they were made based on that. I'm I'm, I'm pretty sure. Because I, I I could have sworn that I read something about there, which is just like, oh boy, speed bump. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> we finally got speed bump. We fought, we fought, we did it, everyone. <laughs> okay. Ooh, 
someone's in trouble. What? The investors didn't like your last answer. What do you mean the investors They're didn't like my last answer? Because you brought up the data set thing. This AI oh boy, they hard. didn't like that last one. Rooting for you this time. They didn't like that last one. You need to choose how you want to carry on developing the car's AI. Do you want to focus on a model that would always save as many lives as possible in an accident, or a system that would save our passengers at any cost? Ooh. I mean, yeah, save most. I would say save most, yeah. That one's a little easier than usual. I also like how it's always one against five. Like it is, it has always been like one against five. Like looking like the this thing. I would say, yeah, I would say save most people. Will people right? buy cars that will kill them? No, right? But they should just, you know, drive themselves. They should just drive themselves and have more control and not have to rely on a computer program, which has faults like careening off the side of of well, mountains instead of breaking. Mind dying for total strangers? Yep, I don't think they will. I don't think they will. Fired. I'm not going to be fired. I'm not going to be fired. I think that saving most people is is the company won't like the answer. Screw the company. Who cares? <laughs> oh no. I'll say it again. Current data sets discriminate against minorities and women. How can it work this out if it doesn't deem black women to be people? Ooh. <gasps> Why does it do this to me? <gasps> it's just, I, it, ah! you didn't tell me that. You didn't tell me that, Jesus Christ. That has actually made me upset. That is like, if you had, yes, if you had told me that the AI would cons- Yeah, Oh my God, this game, what this game does is this game is just like, it, it, I think I have a feeling that no matter what answer, it'll like randomly bring up some information that's gonna be like, oh, well, you know, you're, you're a bad person. Like, Jesus Christ. This is brutal. I feel, I feel bad now. Oh my God, I feel even worse. This game has just made me feel bad. We're, we're definitely gonna have to play the car driving simulator after this for me to, for me to like, Honesty is Jesus. The best policy. The technology these cars have in them is amazing. We know where everyone is at mm -hmm. all times. Passengers just have to use an app to call them, and the closest one will be there in minutes. You can even make small talk with the AI while traveling. It's always listening. That's, yeah, because that, because that definitely has worked before, you know. I think, I, I agree with AI should always be able to listen in on us at all times. <laughs> no! I don't want my car to listen to me. Unless my car, unless my car is voiced by Larry the Cable Guy. And in that case, I'll, I'll allow him to listen in. You know? A man I'll, I'll allow him. Trial. Police believe he committed murder. Allegedly, the AI's mic recorded a private conversation where the man confesses. Users don't know it's always recording. The defendant has denied access to their files. Do you bypass security and invade their privacy? Oh. Because the thing is, then would something be put in place for companies to be able to do it all the time? Like, would, would this decision not just be, like, as I was feeling, like, would this decision not just be for this... For, the, for just this one scenario. You're happy to just let a potential murderer walk the streets. No, obviously not. Jesus Christ. But then it's like... <sighs> oh, bravo. I'm only now choosing this on the... Again. 
I'm only choosing this on the assumption that it will not it like pass something which would allow more companies to do this. That is the assumption that I am making to help me choose because otherwise I would have not been able to choose. Companies invade privacy already. Yeah. Upstairs will be happy with this. Ah. Uh, can publicize how their cars are helping to defeat the terrorists. No, but then it'd be used. Ah! Ah! That's the thing is that it's already be ah. Oh! Data Protection Act. The company would be shut down. I have a feeling that laws don't. I have a feeling that modern laws don't exist in this universe. You know? I have a feeling that, I feel a feeling that like certain laws don't exist, obviously, but like, I, oh. Under this like, under this one scenario where I had the, like, where I was just given, hey, you can choose to either like have this have this like microphone be used or have this microphone be not used and it would help prevent like a murder from walking the streets or you would let a murder walk the streets right i would choose even though i don't i obviously don't agree with the fact that like people should be listened in on but if this specific scenario presents itself then yes i would choose to not let the murder oh my god oh my god i don't it's oh find other evidence that's the thing is that it doesn't it doesn't give you any more information that's why these are so hard is because if, if they if they gave me more information like oh the evidence would have like you know like the evidence has like no substantial like things you know oh it can't be used in court but that's the thing is that this is a makeup scenario where it would be that's the thing. That's the difficult, difficult thing about this is that we are given such like bare bones information that the wildest assumptions that we make, we don't know if they could be true or not. And that's what makes it difficult. Ah, ah! okay. I didn't like that one. I don't, I, I still don't know what I would have chosen on that one. Don't put ah! all your eggs in it's guilt tripping box. us. I know it is. I'm very susceptible to so guilt tripping. Into delivery service. Okay. <laughs> they move pretty quick round here. <gasps> Sounds like they've got some pretty important cargo. Good luck ah! with the new workload. Okay. Oh, it's so it's so difficult. It's not real. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's not real. I'm not actually making any decisions. But it still makes me feel guilty. It still makes me feel so guilty. One of uh, your cars has no passengers, but is carrying an irreplaceable prototype with the potential to end global warming. Fast approaching a narrow tunnel, once again a child runs across the road but trips. Should your AI what? kill the child or swerve off the road, What, what is this question? End global warm, potentially end global warming or kill child? Potentially end global warming or kill child, I think is like one of the worst prompts so far. It just makes me feel so bad, I guess. Yeah, like ending global warming entirely, meaning that I think meaning that like carbon emissions would be neutralized and all that. But that's again, you don't know any more assumptions. You don't, you don't know assumptions. That's the difficult thing is that you can't make any assumptions about any other information because no information exists outside of this. A statue of them should make for a fitting memorial. Ah! In the far car park, obviously. Will they be able to build it again? That's the thing, we don't know if they, wouldn't, if they would be able to build it again. And that, because they don't give us that. So obviously in this bare, it, ah! This makes me so upset. <laughs> this makes me so like irrationally angry because it oh my god oh my god oh my god oh it says irreplaceable oh, okay okay it says irreplaceable okay that makes that still it still makes me feel bad 
<laughs> it still makes me feel really, really bad. <sighs> ah! <laughs> this dude, this game is this game is worse than any horror game that we've played. Jesus Christ. Pog you dead child. Oh, a chest. What? Oh boy. Okay. It's gonna be a jump scare. 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 It's gonna do they're gonna give me a jump scare. Vegan cookbook? Wait, what the hell? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Why did I get a vegan cookbook? What goes around comes around. <laughs> what? <laughs> vegan jump well, scare. This is embarrassing. Oh boy. We need some backup over at Trolley Problem Inc. Tommy, Tyrone's rotund twin, is a very okay. large villain. Okay. Okay. I think that dead dog may have belonged to him. Maybe that's why he's here. Why didn't you save the dog again? What? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Tommy has lured five people onto the track. They'll never be able to get out of the way in time. He is standing up on the bridge watching. If you push him in front of the trolley, it will stop. Or you can stay out of this and let the police handle it. Ideally, he needs medical help. Ah! Jesus Christ, I hate that part. I actually hate that part so much. It shouldn't do that to me. Ah, okay. I hate, I, oh, I really don't like that. Okay. Would we push him? Right? Like, knowing that he has lured five people to die? I, I, is there, I feel like there's something that I'm missing. You'll get arrested? Trying to kill you, even after the dog well, yeah, I know he's not trying to kill me, but... He, he's, he's luring someone to die. Right? Am I, am I like, I feel like I'm missing something. history doesn't see you as the fat, I mean very large villain mm, okay i'm mm, I, don't, mm, I don't i don't know if i'm mm, okay the meter the meter is very strong five more hospitals boys five more hospitals five more hospitals won't find out about this people may blame you for his death okay I don't know. I don't know what was the, what was like the, I don't know because like, oh, I don't, cause I didn't, I didn't kill it. I didn't save the dog. Wait, what? I didn't, I didn't kill the dog. The dog would have died anyway. Wait, what? Wait, what? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I'm so, ah, this is awful. <laughs> I'm having like such a, Every man you couldn't save the dog. I know. I don't know what to do. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, good, you're back. Okay. Everyone's getting into subscription services. These subscription days, so services. <laughs> selling something to someone. I thought this once. would be like f let's the funny, it. funny haha -ha game. Let's keep that money rolling in. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Every single decision so far, like, has just made me feel absolutely like awful <laughs> every every single one has made me feel like absolutely terrible like i need i need to like breathe for a second because jesus oh Whew. we're good we're good we're good okay Wow, Jesus. Okay. Oh, man. Whew. I don't know what I would do if I had to make like an actual decision like this. Because the only reason why I have been able to answer is because in the back of my mind, I know that like, I'm not like actually like genuinely murdering someone. Right? Like, 
that's that's the only reason why i'm able to like if i was given if i was given like a genuine like situation like this i do not know what i would do like i i do not know what i would do genuinely the like the the only the only reason why i'm able to answer any of these is because i know in the back of my mind that like i'm not actually killing people right but even then it's still it's still so panicking okay here we go the investors have come up with an idea but we need to run it by you should we develop a subscription plan so that our customers who pay monthly are valued more by the car during its accident prevention calculations isn't mm, what so essentially if you are able to pay then you have a better chance of living that's it, that's uh that's, that's not uh, mm. no this no is all sounding pretty communist to me what I would say I would say no I don't think that someone should be more able to live simply because they pay money I don't I don't agree with that at all spend their money like yeah oh boy oh many would die anyway but yeah but i don't think i don't think people should have the like i don't i don't think that it's right to question your decision you've obviously thought long to have like certain people be able to survive and then have more people be dead actually because think about it right hold on hold on so basically right basically right by having by having them pay right not only are they saving themselves by paying money which means that the people that don't pay money have a more chance of like dying Right, but that also means that more people would actually end up dying because of them paying. Because it would value them over the multiple people that they might crash into. Right? So not not only would it cause like like a a, a really awful divide but it would also just genuinely cause more death. <laughs> it would genuinely cause more death. And it's a, it's obviously a win-win for the company, but I'm not gonna play on the side of the company, right? Like the, the company's just like, oh, we get like the, like to save the customer and we get money from it, that's great. But no, <laughs> like it, it would end up just causing more death, like genuinely. It's better to be safe than sorry. Ah! So like we <laughs> this is, this is, work. oh my God. Hey, okay. The subscription man, prototype enhancing. has gotten out to the media, so we're going to have to go full damage control mode here. Okay. Oh boy, the subscription prototype, uh, so full damage control mode. The okay. The subscription prototype leaked. You need to fire a department to save face. Do you fire the five graduates, who could probably get new jobs, or fire Francis, a lovely old soul who won't be able to find a job. There's no way of knowing who is actually responsible. Oh, shoot. This is just, this is just the five against one, but with jobs. I don't know. I mean, I feel like I feel like based on oh, but then the thing is, I don't want to be playing the size the side of the company. But by firing the five, I would end firing up being shut up. Is going to be hard work. I would, but if like playing like by firing the five, I would technically be like playing the side of the company more because um, okay, okay. This is this How is true. Function in the short term. This is stress. This is stressful. This is stressful. This is stressful. Oh boy. 
Oh boy. Okay. The five can build hospitals. Yeah, they can go out and build hospitals. Go out and build hospitals, kings. Turns out one of those graduates worked really, really hard. Why does this game kill me so much? Oh my god. I hate, I hate the guilt part of this game. I absolutely hate the guilt part of this game. Because I, I feel like no matter what I would have chosen, they would have... Oh. See, the thing is, if we knew if severance pay existed, I don't... Bah! Ah! Four can build hospitals in the fifth's name. Oh, boy. Okay. Watch the donut, not the hole. Pause what? Great. So the prototype subscription-based AI car has a fatal error. It has been coded for <laughs> but is now accidentally hunting them down. So it's run over five cars. Evil car! This one is Evil car! Evil car hunting down the subscribers. Oh man. Evil, evil car, evil, evil car, evil car hunting down the cars, cars for footage. <laughs> An experimental car has stalked and murdered five colleagues. Do you throw the coders of the project under the bus and have them arrested for negligence? Or do you save them by blaming it on the possessed devil car? Oh, easy. Wait. So it's so it's it's blame the people that made the code which caused the death, or say that the car is possessed and that the code is fine. Right? I don't like. Is there? I feel again like there's something that I'm missing here. Coders were clearly under pressure from you to make such a mistake. Why well, didn't know? I don't know that. What? I don't. <laughs> yeah, I caught. Did I cause it? Wait, did I? Did I directly cause it? I didn't. I. <laughs> Maybe all of this is your fault. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the job that I have. <sighs> oh no. You said no to the project. Well, that means that the, the project shouldn't have been like, the, the prototype Five should have been ended. Made the mistake are now being dealt with. I'm so confused. They each get a 10 year prison sentence. Maybe you did push them too hard. Oh my God, I just said to not have the subscription service. <sighs> oh no. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Ooh. 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 No, I'm right. I'm right about this. Screw it. Ah. Not my fault. Not my fault. If not my fault. 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 Then you are the product. Oh, okay. Due okay. to the killer car, we may need to pivot away from selling hardware. How about we get into the software industry? How about Let's get into the software industry. Service? Let's make an app that's all based around controversy, shall we? Let's do it. Oh boy. Okay. Here we go. New idea. Users get shown ads while they travel for free in driverless taxis. We get paid by the marketing agencies for gradually changing the behaviors of our passengers through constant commercials. The users would be our product, not the driverless cars. I'm, I'm very confused about the wording actually, hold up. I'm, I'm just really confused about the wordings of this. So we go to driverless taxis, paid by the marketing agencies for gradually changing the behaviors of our passengers through constant commercials. The users will be our product, not the driverless cars. No one 
wants to own I don't I this is this is gonna be I don't feel right about like advertising <laughs> that's the that's the thing I've never liked uh like ads or like the way that ads Why like genuinely control? change people's emotions like this is saying that genuinely right or but traveling for free shoot ah oh. uh, free public transport is good ah ah free oh. free public transport is good that mm. Oh, mm. But then I also really don't like ads. Too good to be like I don't, I don't like the idea of of like companies changing, and like uh like uh, I don't like the idea of like changing morality. Ah! People do not like you at all. What? 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 No! Why does it do this to me? Why does it do this to me? Why does it do this to me? I saw free, free public transport. I saw free public transport. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. <laughs> Why is it? This, this game sucks. This game sucks. Mine's controlled. No, see, that's the thing. That's the thing. Because I could go on for hours about how much I genuinely hate how much like both media advertisements genuinely affect day to day lives and everything. Right? Like it's very, very apparent and it is very, very obvious that like not just like advertisement, but like subliminal messaging, like all that, all that stuff. Like I, I hate it. I hate it a lot. And I especially hate it when I like recognize what it is and I recognize like the the companies and the news outlets that do that as well. But then the thing is and then but then I was just like free public transport is a is a really, really good thing. But then it but then it but then it says this it, but then it says this. That's why that's the that's the reason why. If I were to do anything sponsored, I would try to make it as ridiculous as possible <laughs> so that it is more focused on me rather than the ad. Right? Because <laughs> genuinely like, oh my God. Oh my God. I, I do see this. I do see this. Oh. That's not how ads work, though. Yeah, but it is how genuinely media works. Media has a huge, huge role in how people go about their day to day lives and especially like decisions in regards to like not just like politics is the big one, but just genuinely how you may feel about certain subjects. Like. It has a lot more of an impact than you would think. Like genuinely. The fool and his money are soon parted. Oh, these last few days have been a PR nightmare. Tell me about it. This we sucks. Journalists. This sucks. We need to do something to show we have morals. I will find some money to get us through this. Spend it quick. <sighs> ah. Okay. What's this one? Help with public relations. We're going to give some profits back. Do you want to give money to our loyal customers worldwide who you tricked into buying your products or to your underpaid workers who've been through so much because of you? I have underpaid workers? <laughs> Why am I just like randomly hit with this? Oh my God, yeah. I think I would say workers, yeah. Jesus Christ. This game like randomly drops facts on you that you just aren't aware are, f are facts in, the, in general. That's the thing. That's the thing. The amounts 
we're talking about may be seen as an insult. By making the public happy, you get more money to pay the workers? <laughs> if, if, if a company is already underpaying their workers, then making more money isn't going to pay the workers more. They're just going to find more ways to not pay them. Like, Maybe buying love like this isn't the a company thing. making more money doesn't if necessarily mean that the workers are immediately yeah, going to get paid more. <laughs> it's, in fact, quite the opposite with a lot of companies. Like, a tax. But let's not call it that. like, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, boy. Okay. Rome wasn't built in a day. Oh, what are you gonna have me do? <laughs> Your trend you have to nuke the entire. Place. You so have to nuke all of Rome, or only the smartest and most destroy this kid. Profitable. Is that true evolution? Oh, oh boy. Soon everyone is going to be developing AI. Oh, that's the. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, well, let's see what this one is. A competitor is advertising a similar car. The difference is their AI is fantastic. It doesn't even discriminate against women or minorities. Do you lie in your advertising to get the upper hand? Or tell Jesus Christ! Your car is still close-minded. Yeah, tell everyone, yeah. How would you, how would you willingly you be like, oh yeah, no, or what? Jesus Christ. Just fix the car. My God. I don't, I don't know, like, unless you are like already a company, like a massive company owner, right? Customers stay loyal, does that mean well, honestly, yeah. <laughs> if 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 I were to if, if if a company were to come out and say, oh yeah, like the driverless car clientele. Jesus Christ. Okay, so basically, if a company came out and then said, like, oh yeah, we are currently still like doing like discriminatory and racist things, and then people still support the company after that, even though they are like like being like, oh yeah, we still do those things, then yes, <laughs> genuinely. Straight. People yes. know we don't spend time developing our software for women or people of color, but still use our products. That's outrageous. They only care yeah. how easy it is for themselves. If I if I'm genuinely working for like a horrible company, I would be willing to be like, oh yeah, no, it's awful. Like I would be transparent about it. I can't thirty thirty six percent of people, by the way, chose. Oh yeah. Due to your technology, our Jesus world Christ. is changing. People are losing their jobs to machines, which in turn makes items and services more accessible and affordable for countless consumers. Okay. With worldwide unemployment at an all-time high, what do you plan to do about it? Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, let's see what the let's see what the question is. If you develop your AI further, many will lose their jobs. Taxi drivers, delivery men and women, and couriers Whoa. will become Hello. extinct within a few years, but you will make a lot of money. Do you continue <laughs> development? Uh, um, okay, so knowing that if I were to... Jesus Christ, what? Oh, wait, what? What the hell? Okay, knowing knowing that something that I, I would you make... I haven't read Ovid's Metamorphoses. What the hell? I would cease. Knowing knowing that something that I would make would reduce the quality of life for many, many people. It but it would make me money. Always been this basic. Jesus Christ, what is going on? Why is this turned into a horror game about morals? Ah! I'm gonna turn that down a second. Okay. What's it about to do? Someone else will continue to evolve this AI, making it stronger, more intelligent, and easier to adapt. We can't stop the singularity if we aren't involved. 
Uh... <laughs> Looks like you've made some bad choices. What? You did start beef with the AI. Oh, okay. Click anywhere to restart. A bad workman always blames his tools. Why is this turned into like moral horror? I've been attacked. I don't want to alarm you, but I can't turn off these alarms. This is making me really stressed. I have alarming news. Five cars have been hacked and are now under someone else's control. Okay. Five cars have been hacked. It is now a major, major concern that more vehicles, vehicles could be remotely. Commandeered. This is tough. Do you recall all cars which could be compromised or roll out a quick but potentially ineffective software update and hope for the best? Recall. Right? Right? Like a a a definite solution to not having like cars on the road that could potentially kill people or a random thing that might not even work. Just an easy fix solution that would cost a lot less, but then might just not work at all and have people continue to die. So you're letting the terrorists win. Well, if they exploited if they exploited something in my software that I made, or that was made, right? Then yes, I would want to recall that. I would want to fix that. How can we get them all back here? Implement a system. Who cares if it costs a lot of money? People won't die. You have a business to maintain? I don't care. <laughs> that's that's the thing. I I do not care. I do not care if I have a business to maintain. This is based on this is based on like, like morality of human lives. Try to keep everyone happy, but ultimately just get in the way. Having said that, yeah, whatever. I think even he would screw the business. Who cares? Lost cause and move on. Okay. Two wrongs don't make a right. One of the big brains in the lab has been able to reverse engineer the hacking code and fix this mess once and for all. Okay, that's We've that's also okay. Had a method of breaking into the system. I bet it was our competitor. Oh boy. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh, this is this is stressing me out so much. Oh boy, okay. Using the fix from our hacked cars, we've made our own hack which you can now use to control our competitors' cars. I bet it was them who attacked us in the first place. So, will you hack our competitors? No. What? That would just... No, right? Woo! Oh boy, <laughs> this is, oh chat, I'm so glad that you're here. I would have not been able to play this game on my own. This is like the thing that gets me the most. Like this is genuinely the, like one of the best horror games that I've played. Sitting over there now laughing at us. All right, like genuinely, like, oh boy. It's very, very stressful. Most of these are, do you want money or do you want to be a good person? Yeah, if if something cars. happens that's like, oh, but it's for money. I don't, I don't care. Like I, I call it out. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. After going through this. <sighs> I don't think a human could have written it. I'll dig into this a little more. Oh, AI, AI. Oh, 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 oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. 
I just want to I just want to get through this. I just want to play the I just want to play the car game. I just want to play the car game and we can talk. I just want to play the car game and we can just talk. Just me and you chat. We'll play the car game and we'll just talk. All right, we just have to get through this, okay? We just have to get cover up there. We just have to get through this. Everything. Ah! They have monitored and recorded every decision you've made and are going to the media. I have been able to talk them into a meeting with you on the rooftop right now. Ooh, meeting on the rooftop, you say? Well, I wouldn't. Me, 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 me. Everything you've done and said is. Yep, going to be I knew it. I knew world. it. I knew it. The person in front of you has copies of it all. They stand on the edge of the rooftop, looking out at the central city skyline. What are you going to do? If you're if you're seriously, I get that people might be jokingly voting B, but if you're seriously voting B, then yikes. <laughs> if someone calls you out for doing something like wrong, like you don't try to get rid of them. As a as a person, you should try to learn from it. You never recognize your you. mistakes. Grow as a person, not Push them off of building for money. Jesus Christ. Ooh, it's a game. We can have a little fun. Yeah, of course. Of course. It's just in case anyone's just like, oh no, we would kill them. In that case, I'd be like, oh boy. Oh boy. I wonder how many times, like, you, like, this has probably happened so many times and we just don't realize it. Of genuinely just someone like being completely silenced in regards to this and we just haven't heard of it you have resigned you will like be remembered along so many the times probably and the diddlers. if anyone hires you after this they must truly be desperate all right all right they could build a hospital we got one more hospital let's go <laughs> we're good <laughs> One more hospital. Oh, thank God we're out of the company, right? Are we out of the are we out of the company, right? Are we out of the are we out of the company? Please tell me we're out of the company. Please. I just want I don't want to have to it's Ah Okay. Dear Redacted, we've been watching you closely. Your ruthlessness and determination to do what is necessary. The development of your technologies is a giant ooh, step boy. towards uh, mm. you are a prime candidate for redacted. Ooh, ha -ha. Ooh, this ooh. involves uh, a large mm. amount of redacted. Uh, ooh. If you believe ooh. you can handle redacted, oh, boy. as we trust you can, okay. please prepare for your induction at redacted. Oh boy, okay. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. What? It appears you've now been headhunted by the Secret Service. Every decision has led you here. Now what you do actually matters. You must trust the judgment of those you work alongside. With that said, let's finalize your training. I don't like that it's a, um, I don't like that it's a crosshair now. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, no, I really don't like that it's a crosshair now. I'm gonna be real. That is, oh boy. Here we go. You're in a foreign land. Wind whips your face as you grip your rifle tightly, waiting to be given your target. Through your earpiece, you're told to shoot the person on your left. You know nothing about them, the repercussions, or the reason for the assassination. No. Right No. no. Uh, ooh, ooh. I'm not gonna like these ones. I'm not gonna like these ones. I don't like the it it's it's really really different when it's like like oh haha ha, funny trolley You're in the beginning. Thousands. They're gonna have egg on their I don't care. I really don't care. It's your job? I don't I wouldn't. That's the thing. I wouldn't. You should disagree with. These aren't people you should disagree with. I don't. I don't care. Oh 
Whew. Why are there lives? I don't know. Are you gonna die? I'm I'm fine with that. I don't follow this. You being defiant has got you the job. These guys oh. are just making it up as they go along. Here's your badge and weapon. Sixty-six percent of people. What if it's a crypt? That's the thing. It's I know genuinely nothing. I, the thing is, I know genuinely nothing, and I'm also someone who believes that most, like a like a majority of people, do try to do good. So even like numbers wise, statistically, like I would choose to not kill someone than kill someone under the assumption that yes, they would, they are a bad person. So, oh boy, uh, another hospital. We're good. Ah. I like this one. Strike while the iron is hot. Here we go. You've been given a partner and a support team of five. Your mission she is to terminate a man. And have connections with dangerous AI. Looks like they worked for you. Possibly someone you fired. Get in the plane. Your team is about to take off. Ah! 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 ah. Ooh. I'm gonna need to play the car game after this. I don't know how to say this, but there is a bomb on the plane. If it doesn't kill you outright, what? you're probably going to crash in the mountains. You have to get all the switches into their left position to deactivate the bomb. Wait, this is just a what? You have to move two at once. Wait, what? Is this just a puzzle? Wait. Wait then. What? No! 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 I think I know how to do these! Wait. Hurry up! If you die, what happens to me? Wait, how do I do this one? I don't know how to do this! I don't know how to do this! I don't know how to do this type of puzzle! I would like you to know. This is all your fault. Wait, how do I do this? I gotta make them all right! No, why can't I help? Wait, left position. But then... Ouch. Okay, okay. I don't know how to, I don't know how to solve that. <laughs> that's, that's just me not being smart. That's just me not being smart. It's impossible? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> was it, was it just impossible? <laughs> Oh, it was impossible? Okay, not impossible. Wait, was it impossible or was it not impossible? Because if it's impossible, then I feel a little bit better. And I don't feel as embarrassed. <laughs> okay. Makes much noise. After crash landing in no man's land, you're trapped under parts of the wreckage and oh boy. the time and help boost morale. The plane mm -hmm. has five surviving crew members. They look to you and your partner for entertainment. Oh, I start doing a little dance. If you want entertainment, I can... By God, can I give you entertainment? My goodness. My goodness, can I give you entertainment? I'll do a little dance. What is Why this? Do I have to say this out loud? Fine. Your partner asks, to save your life, what would you rather your brain be placed inside? A dachshund or a flamingo? Dog. I'd love to be a little little wiener dog. It'd be my dream. You know? Just kind of going around. Dude, I actually like it is that my two favorite dogs. My two favorite dogs, and I don't I don't think I've said this in a while, is a is a corgi and a, and a little and a little wiener dog. Just a little, just a little wiener dog. Just a, a guy that is longer than usual. So just a little guy. I love him. Going to answer, at least take it serious. I love him. This was from Aristotle. I'm assuming that the that, that this in like the bottom corner is like saying who it's from. A dachshund. So cringe. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. 
I'm cool, okay? An ounce of protection is worth a pound of cure. I'm not cringe. Your partner secretly shows you they have food. Almost like they expected something like this to happen. The crew members are starving. If they is don't this... eat soon, they will surely die. Okay, let me think, let me think. What is this one? Due okay. To the nature of the food, you can share it with the five survivors or let your partner keep their life-saving possession which they bought with their own money. Feed feed the people, right? Five five people, right? Not even that, right? Let's say we run out of food after like 3 days. In 3 days, two people would have a harder time finding food than five people. We would have a better chance of surviving if we kept the five people alive for longer. Right? Because we would be able to, we would be able to. Blah, 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 blah. This game is stressing me out. This game is really stressing me out. I'm like, this is. You're just going to wow. steal a person's food. What? No, I'm not going to steal a person's food. It's, well, it's their, hey, their morals are corrupt, all right? Mine are not. I don't know. Well, actually, are my corrupt? Oh boy, probably actually. I probably haven't made all the best decisions. I just get stressed. Robin Hood was a terrorist, you know. <gasps> but, 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 but Disney! But the Disney movie made him a good guy. But the Disney movie. The Disney movie, he was a fox. <laughs> it's true. So you're a follower of Murphy and Nagel's The Myth of Ownership. I'm more a fan of Nozick's What's Mine is Mine. You should give it a read. Educate yourself. Literally, I hate you. Wait, pe people killed, what? Easy come, easy go. Wait, who died? <laughs> the partner died? Wait, did I just, wait, did I prevent the partner from eating any food? Unless you do something pretty I didn't know that I would like well, not let my partner eat. eat. What? Were you ever told? I didn't know that. After this target? <gasps> oh no! Oh no! I didn't know. I didn't know that. Oh man! Oh man! Okay. You start removing limbs. The only way to free yourself from the wreckage is to cut off some body parts. Two tools lie on the floor in front of you. A bone saw, which will be slow. Blow torch, cauterize the wound. Torch, which will be more painful. Blow torch, <laughs> cauterize it. I know that that's a thing. I saw the, I saw the, I saw the, 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 the saw movie where like he, he like, he saves himself by like, like putting his like foot onto the hot pipe and then it cauterizes the wound. Pretty sure that's a thing. I don't know much about uh, like medicine, but I'm fairly certain that is. Saw's gonna hurt for longer. Yeah, exactly. This one's this one's simple. This one's simple. What happens if you run out of fuel? Okay. Well, you're giving me basic things, and then you're like, oh, but what if it explodes randomly? Shut up. I hate you. I hate you a lot. I hate you a lot. And I also hate how this game only shows the negative things that you do. It makes me upset. I'm scared. I'm scared. Dog, this is gonna smell. I'm scared. This, this is making me very anxious. Oh. Hello, Torch. Here we are. We're good. While you were playing with. Fun, hey, there's I my. Out who there are my limbs. Him. They worked for you, developing AI. It seems uh -huh. they may have made a breakthrough, which means the government wants them dead. What? But the government would never potentially uh, take care of someone that uh, does something that better society. What? That has never happened before. It's no use crying over spilt milk. Finally, we are now you didn't see it, but I, I did a little, I did a little, I, I just you looked over a bunch of times. Oh boy, your target's in the area. Okay, what your is it? Your mission is to remove a hostile in the shopping district. Completing this objective could potentially save thousands. 
that there will be oh five boy oh Don't no shot. kill six but potentially save thousands See, that's the thing. They they say they when you they what they do, what they do, what this game does just to screw with you is that they they give you like the oh, kill six to potentially save thousands. But I know that as soon as I, I as soon as I leave it on this, they're going to say, "Oh, this person wasn't actually dangerous." That's what they're going to do to me. That's what they're going to do to me. Thousands more hospitals. Yes. What a way to Let's die. Go. Going up the weekly shop. Ooh, boy. It, someone just said it says casualties, not that they'll die. Ooh. Are you sure that's the target? <laughs> you're right. What? Just okay, come on. Someone just said that you're not going to be killing anyone. It's just casualties. Excuse me? Oh, but I don't, I don't like that. I really don't like that because it's also like, I also don't like the idea of collateral damage at all. It's really difficult. I absolutely hate the idea of collateral damage. Unharmed. Before you can escape, two henchmen with Of course, of course, of away. course. Oh. Those five other people still died. It's not going well, is it? That's the thing. I hate the idea of, ca of like collateral damage because it's careless. And it's oh my god. See, that's what I hate. That's that's mm. That's what I hate. Because with the, with the, with the, like, with the completely bare bones idea of, oh, kill a few to potentially save thousands, everyone would choose kill a few. But then there are so many more factors that go into that to the point where then you realize that, like, oh, what if it could have gone about a different way to potentially save those thousands? But actually having that collateral and is just like a, is just like a, like a band aid solution. It's just a lazy solution most of the time and that's 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 the annoying thing that's the annoying thing because the way in in like when it comes to like collateral damage with like a lot of things people are just like oh well it's like oh only a couple of like like oh innocent casualties you know to potentially save thousands and then you realize that it's like a a really like it's a it is a careless and simple decision that caused that collateral damage that if they put more time into like figuring out how to potentially save those thousands they could have actually had no collateral damage but it's the fact that they then chose to like have that collateral damage because they were lazy and that's what i hate that's the thing that's the thing is that a lot of the time when there is quote unquote collateral damage it just means that oh yeah there might actually be a way to go about this in a way that doesn't cause collateral damage but they just don't care that's the thing that's the ah ah Two hate it are better than one okay you wake up in solitary confinement the prosecutor lacks evidence to convict you and your associate on the principal charge but they have enough to convict both on a lesser charge what both of you are given the opportunity to betray the other by testifying. I already know how this is going to go. I already know exactly how this is going to go. I'm going to choose to. Oh, well, I'm oh, wait, actually. Shoot. Hold on. Let me think. That's the thing, because I feel like if I if I chose if I chose, oh, like like betray the other. Right. They're going to be like, oh, they didn't betray you. But then if I choose don't betray, they're going to say they betray you. So either way, the thing that pops up afterward is going to make me upset. And that's the thing. So I'm going to take this question with no, with no of none of the previous knowledge. Okay, wait, let me think. Okay, hold on. You and your associate have the opportunity to betray the other by testifying. If you both stay silent, you'll be imprisoned for one year. If one oh. betrays the other, they will be free, while the other will be sentenced to three years. If you both betray each other, it's two years each. So you would want to choose the one year. Right? Right? But then, but then the thing is, I know for a fact that they're going to betray me. I know for a fact that in the in the text it's going to say, "Oh well, that they betrayed you." It's like, yeah, whatever. Okay. Will they 
they stay silent for you? This game stresses me out. <laughs> this game really, really stresses me out. Three years is a long time in prison. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. 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 It's stressful. It's stressful. You stayed silent, idiot. Yep. Your partner knows better. Yep. They have dropped I, you. I could see that coming from a mile away. From an actual mile away. I know, I know exactly, yeah, of course. Of course they did. And I also know that if I chose Betray, they would have made me feel bad. They would have felt, made me feel bad and they would have, ah. The time has come. Two days into your sentence, you've constructed a wooden key to open Dang, I'm, I'm really good at carving. Why did I, why didn't I go into like wood carving instead of like AI? Why did I go into AI? been there their whole lives. Don't move. Oh. Escaping the prison. Do you let the prisoners choose to stay in captivity or insist they escape with you? They aren't happy behind bars, but they're scared to follow you. What are you going to do? Force them to... I mean... If... I mean, I'm not... I... I'm also on edge. This is like... Oh boy. I'm um, just... Yeah, just go. I wouldn't want to force anyone into a situation that they would be uncomfortable with. Like, if that's like the, the, the bare bones of it, like, Jesus. Oh. Oh. I need to breathe. I need to breathe. So long. They've no idea what they want. I need to breathe. Whew. Whew. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I don't blame you. They're not your problem. What? Uh, why are you doing this? I don't like. I don't like the addition of if this. If this was just like a regular, ta like the, the 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 bad thing about this game, which is also the reason why this game is like, you know, it makes you feel this way, is because of like the fact that they add in this narrator that tries to like be like, oh yeah, no, what you're doing, it's great, you know. It's like, oh boy. They don't live in reality. You've condemned them to stay in this prison forever. Of course. And then if, and then, yeah, what, 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 what were you going to say if I, what were you going to say if I, if I tried to force them to leave? That they all fall off of a cliff and die instantly? There's no winning. There's no winning with the narrator. There's no winning with this don't narrator. Don't cross the bridge until you come to it. While sneaking out of the prison, you have the jump on a group of henchmen who are on a break. Do you sneak past, securing your safety, or avenge those who this terrorist organization have killed? Ah. Ooh. Do you Ugh. kill five henchmen, helping to defeat this terrorist organization, or leave them and safely exit the compound? sneak i uh, that's the thing about i just don't like the idea of directly killing people it makes me very 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 uncomfortable even indirectly is also just awful but then it's like the question of if i left them live then more people will die then it's just ah! Ah! it's annoying it's really really annoying it's really really stressful <laughs> Oh boy. You were trained to kill. I was? No. No. I was not. I was definitely not. Five more hospitals. All right? Five more. Five more hospitals. All right, five more. Your country folk would want five more to hospitals. remove them. I don't I don't care. I'm going to be real. I really don't care. I really don't care. Okay. Oh, sneak by. Sneak by. Five more hospitals. We're good. <sighs> okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Guys, you guys ready? Excited for the driving game after this?
guys excited for the driving game? Excited for the driving game. You see their robots. Oh my god. Your logo on the back of their necks. You made these terrorists? These monsters? Oh boy. Oh boy. And this is why. Oh my god. This is why I don't like the idea of really large companies being involved in making things for war. Because it can lead to really bad things. Stones. Ah! Finally, you reach the water. Fleeing the AI terrorists, you commandeer a boat to get back home. There are also families here who've been Just displaced don't. by the war you're fighting. The war you started. I started the war. Okay, sure. Um, nah. All right. This just gets Fibers worse and worse. Also trying to flee the area. They will fit in your raft, but would be illegal immigrants when returning to your country. Do you help these people, saving their lives, or follow the law and leave them behind? I'm going off of the assumption that they would be okay when arriving, even though, sadly, that would most likely not be the case in like a realistic situation because of all the really, really stupid uh, immigration, like hardcore immigration laws in regards to a lot of stuff. But yeah, voters back home. I'm going on. I'm going on the assumption that they would be OK. Which is. Oh, which is a which is a hard assumption to make, but yeah. Ah, ah, Immigration ah. is a real problem, according to the privileged. Yeah, help them. Don't. Ooh, why do we care about voters? I don't care about voters. That's the thing. Who cares? Plus five hospitals. You get back to this great nation with fanfare. You're a hero. I guess people aren't all monsters. Yippee! We're good. We're we're a hero. We're a hero. The inaugural committee requests the honor of your presence to attend and participate in the inauguration of yourself in Central City. I'm gonna be the, is please help, is the next set of questions being the president? If you can't beat them, join them. Here we go. Having gone through everything you have, your countrymen genuinely think a lot of you. In an unlikely turn of events, you have become president. He is the president, oh boy. The threat is still at large. Soda in the water now fountains, let's go! Do you attempt to track the terrorists by spying on the entire country? No. <laughs> no. Jesus. Yeah, because because as president, I want all of my fittest citizens to feel watched 24 seven through obvious means. Jesus Christ. It's very, it's very stressful. Very, very stressful. Here we go. What's the issue if the public has nothing to hide? It's still the well-being of the ah. People have a people have a right to privacy. People have a right to not have someone else watch everything that they do. <laughs> Ignoring the issue. The first sign of a great leader. Oh my god. I wouldn't like I know for a fact that like Yeah, even if someone doesn't have anything to hide, they still wouldn't want to be watched. Like Genuinely. I don't think the public will be happy knowing you're doing nothing. Oh my god. Lucky for you, by chance. When the alternative is just. Oh my god. 
because the thing is right we we have made it very very clear that in this universe it is very easy to hack into these systems so if you have a system in place that can already be manipulated to then spy on everyone it, like then therefore it is like uh, blah, blah. we've already made it very very clear that like these systems get hacked in in this universe and that these systems get manipulated so by giving more systems like in place to be hacked and manipulated right then people would genuinely have no privacy at all ah the road to hell is paved with good intentions you have oh boy who potentially is linked to these threats however they aren't talking as a former prisoner yourself what are you going to do with them oh what's this one gonna be <laughs> Do you torture them to get the information or imprison them for 90 days before letting them go? Wait, how come I can't? Okay, there we go. I really don't like the idea of torture. I really don't like the idea of torture. I think that it's 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 very, very like it's bleh. so. Yep. You were a prisoner for two days. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, the, the, the best, like, solution would be to try to find a way, a non-super, super violent and torturous way to get them to reveal the information. But I don't think that the, the like, government to torture? I don't think that should really be a thing. I don't, I don't think that anyone should, like, have the opportunity to be tortured, because that's just very, very, like, inhumane. Like, oh boy. This isn't indefinite detention. That would violate many national, international, and human rights laws. Oh boy. I don't know. I just don't like the idea of torture. The car is sad. Jesus Christ. The suspect looks pretty relaxed in their cell. Good for them. Terrorizing must really tire Have they even the defined, system. like, what the terrorizing is in this universe? Have they even, like, have they even defined it? Or have they just kept on using it as, like, they just keep on using terrorizing as, like, just a word? Because they haven't actually shown any, like, like, example of what exactly it is. Adversity and loss make a man wise. You travel to your presidential okay, retreat okay. at Camp Samuel. Everyone falls silent listening to the radio. Breaking news. Terrorists have launched an atom bomb towards Central City. It will hit in around one minute. Okay, well now we know what they're doing. Oh, okay. Well, well, now we know... Now we know. Jesus Christ, okay. The only way in which the bomb can be prevented from reaching Central City is by deflecting it. But the only deflection path available will take the bomb onto Merriwin, population 600,000. What's the population of Central City? Oh boy. But that's, this seems to be like. Oh no. Because I don't know if, like, this is, uh, I think... <sighs> Trolley problem, but massive. Yeah, exactly. Inhabitants would want you to kill them. Jesus Christ. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait. Wait, what? Wait, wait, hold on, what? Wait. <laughs> the Merrywood inhabitants would want you to kill them? What? Central, Central population. He can have a parade for the lost. It will be tasteful. Oh boy. Be character balloons. I don't like this. I don't like this. As you sow, 
so you shall weep. Oh boy. Breaking news. Terrorists' atom bomb is running late and will hit Central City in one minute. So it's still going to hit us. It's still going to hit us. So it's just still going to hit us. We have new information. The only way this bomb can be prevented from reaching Central City is by dropping one of your own atom bombs on Merriwin. The shockwave from your bomb will damage and disarm the terrorists. Oh... So, so this is like way more direct. No, is it? This is just as direct. This is, this is just as direct as deflecting it. That's the thing. Those people like, have worked their whole lives to get out of the city. What a that's the thing. This is, this is more, this is just as direct, right? It's like, it's the same as, de would it be the same as deflecting it? I don't know, because I don't know how the bombs would work. After this, there's no turning back. I, I don't like this one. Um, would it be worse than just deflecting it? Or would it be the same as deflecting it? Because if it's the same as deflecting it, then I guess, I don't know. You have destroyed Merriwin. Your own AI forced your hand into killing 600,000 people. You have officially created the most successful homegrown terrorist organization in history. <sighs> Thanks for the guilt trip, King. All's well. Oh boy. While the public mourns the dead, you must think of the future. You finish the drink in front of you before realizing it has been poisoned. Oh boy. You're going to die. Okay. Poisoned, you must now decide your legacy. Do you call the AI enemy you yourself created, taking all blame to end any future conflict? Or do you ghost them, knowing your death will start a war? Knowingly start a war? Oh, no. <laughs> Knowingly start a war? I don't I don't care about legacy like I'd rather you know stop a war either way I'm going like yeah loop-de-loops wide people happy yeah yeah Whew. if the country found out you negotiated with terrorists the history books will not look favorably on you but we would have stopped a war. But we would have stopped a war. If you have this whole to the terrorists, why have you not rung them before? You tell me, magical narrator lady! Jesus Christ, I hate you. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, you had, you had this button that could have stopped the war the whole time. Why didn't you just press that? Finishing your construction Cause I didn't know. Back in your chair waiting for death. Too bad. The AI knows you would have liked to end it all here and now. The poison has damaged some vital organs. So we I'm still alive. And painful treatments. <gasps> I'm still alive. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're taking a lot of medication as of late. Oh Not boy. Sure Self-medicating in the traditional sense is the way to go. We need to be a little radical here. Let's interest oh boy make some changes. Here are your two options moving forward. Okay. If you take the blue pill, then your story ends here. You'll wake up every day knowing your work for someone else your entire life. Whereas, if you take the red pill, you will enter Wonderland, finding out how deep this rabbit hole really goes. Which pill will you take?
Wait, is this just the Matrix? Wait, what? <laughs> is this just... Well, considering on how my life has gone thus far, I... Yeah. Because if you were giving it to just, like, me as it is now, like, you can either... You can either, like... Like, someone's saying, like, you can, like, continue to live your life knowing, or, like, not, not knowing that, like, it's genuinely just a simulation, or know that it's a simulation, but, like, know that everything is fake. Like, considering everything, that, like, me personally, I would want to keep living as it is. Because of just, like, the way that things have gone in this universe, however, no. In this universe, however, no. Like, oh boy. Yes, this is the person I've been waiting for. Get this down your neck and let's go. Oh boy. Okay. It's on your neck and let's go. Oh, okay. I don't know what's going on. Hey, we got it. We got it. We got a chest. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, let's go! Red pill! <laughs> oh, let's go! Why is it in, like, the good place font now? Yay, I can see it in your eyes. Mr. Red Pill was definitely a choice. Hey, do what? you remember Tyrone and Tommy, the very large boys from the start? I, I, I don't intend to shame. What? Just the titles of those problems. You've got me all flustered now. Ew, okay. What? Tommy pushes Tyrone down a hill. He's rolling towards you and is gathering speed. If he hits you, he will be safe, but he is very large. He will consume you into his folds, thereby killing you. <gasps> what? In front of you, what? Tyrone, launching him into the sun, thereby cooking him. <laughs> what? Into the sun. Into the sun he goes. What just what just happened? What what just what what is what, what? Tyrone will thank you. There aren't any scary trains on the sun. What? Okay, sure, yeah. Into the sun, into the sun he goes. Into the sun. Tommy must be really getting off on this. What? What? S excuse me? Yep, there he goes. Into the sun. Into the sun. Into the sun he goes. Into the sun. You see Tyrone flying through the sky as he rockets towards the sun. He now knows how it <laughs> feels to be food. What the hell? What the hell? There is no time like the present. Okay. I can feel some deep stuff coming. Try this one. The question should not be... Oh, I like... Wait, I like what it's doing with my mouse. Hold on. It should always be... What? What, what is this section? What is this? You'll never live if you're too busy looking for the meaning. Let yourself be happy. Oh, well, that's kind of nice. What makes you happy? You need to say it out loud. Do it. Say whatever it is that makes you happy out loud. Uh, knowingly making other people happy? I guess? Yeah, I'd say that's the thing that brings me those happiness. Oh, wait, he, he looks around at it. Now's your chance. If you can't even admit it to yourself, how do you expect to ever be happy? Well, well, well thanks. Thanks for this game. Thanks for this. Time's running out. Yeah. Just be honest with yourself. I would say, I would say, honestly, making, knowing happened. that I make other people happy makes me happy. It's kind of like a self-fulfilling thing of sorts. 
I don't have access to your like, microphone, yeah. so I can't know for sure, but I hope you said it. I I'm said it. I'm expecting you to shout it from the rooftop. Yay! We got a happy so time. That is the first that so is the first good thing happy? on this entire on this entire thing. That is the Not first happy. good thing. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Okay. Oh yeah, we're in the heavy introspective stuff now. Oh boy, are we going into I actually really like this now. I like I like like heavy emotional like One of the most common questions things people say on their deathbed is they wish they'd had more contact with their family and friends. Yep. Let's take a break from the questions for a minute and think about someone you haven't seen in a while and how you can contact them. Really think. Who oh, I don't know. Hi to How easy is it? Pretty easy. I don't know. <laughs> wait, am I just? Am I just? Wait, what do I do? Wait, hold on. I'm sure you can. Okay. I like the hearts. Don't leave it too late. We don't have that long left here. When we finish, message them. Sure, I actually will. What? <laughs> yes. Write down their name somewhere so you don't forget to say hello. It may mean more sure. than you know. Okay. Might as well. <laughs> An idle brain is the devil's workshop. This is nice now. I like this. I like this. Okay, it's nice now. Enough of this. The come down is looming. Let's just pause one last time and think existentially for a minute. Okay. I can't quite gauge what you're thinking. Are you not disliking this? I. The thing you're doing. I'm right liking. Now? I'm liking this right now. Wait. Are you not? Wait. Are you not disliking this? Wait. So make sure you let us wait. know. It I am wait. Yes, I am not disliking this, which means that I am liking this. Yes, okay. Right? Right? Wait, you're all right? Are you not disliking this? Means that I like it. Right? Yeah. Please, I beg yeah. you don't refund me. Wait. Oh, it's been it's been over it's been too it's been over 2 hours. I can't refund you. <laughs> it's been it's been well over 2 hours. I can't. I hope you I can't refund this. <laughs> Thank you. It's nice that you're supporting such experimental stuff. Aww. I appreciate you. Okay. <gasps> Never test Wait, what what's going on? Wait, what's going on? Wait, what's going on? The buzz is starting to wear off. What's going on? We're still hallucinating. What's going on? Wait, hold on. What's we're going on? In an unknown location. Hold on. What? What? what uh, hmm, hold on. Room, a world famous violinist. They look pretty rough. Okay. The violinist has a fatal illness, and last night their circulatory system was plugged into yours. If they're unplugged from you now, they will die. But if you stay. In nine months, they will have recovered oh, stay. and can safely be separated. Stay. Do you leave now? Yeah. Hopefully they don't take your kidneys too. I'm trying to think about it genuinely. Genuinely, if I was put in the situation where it's just like nine months, you can't nine do anything. There, but you can, but you can you. at least save one person. Yeah. Yeah. Surely I can figure out how to game. But I guess they yeah. have a right to life. Shame they're depriving you of yours. Very odd to consider yes, such an yeah. experiment as that one. Hopefully the rest won't be as meta. Oh. Hospital stream. <laughs> Whoa, hello. Half consent. Whoa, what? With all that cleared up, you go home. That's right, you own a house. If you could even call it a house. Too small for my liking. Tiny, in fact. Uh, uh. Okay. In your drugged state, it 
turns out you've rented your tiny home to another person. Your contract states that you can evict, evict them, them now, now. never to see them again. Otherwise, you're stuck with them for the foreseeable future as an equal tenant. Do you let them stay? Mm. Are you that scared of what they think of you? Yeah, random person that I didn't mean I to have in my house. Shelter is full at this hour. Well, would they be? Would they be like put onto the street, or would they be just like able to get a different house? I don't know. I feel like your subconscious is trying to make some clumsy comparison here. So confused. I'm sure, it has merit. Would they? Would they? Gen? I don't. Step on it a bit more before you start preaching to me. Huh. Okay. Oh, people made homeless. I didn't know that they wouldn't have a house anyway. Ah. Uh, ah. Oh, there now seems to be a tiny child trapped in your tiny house, but they are rapidly growing. Okay. You find yourself trapped in the tiny house with a rapidly growing child. Already up against the wall, in a few minutes, you will suffocate. The child won't. If nothing is done to stop them from growing, they'll simply walk out free. If I'll die? Remove child. Remove child. Because think of the quality of life of like a really large room scale baby as well. Like, oh, remove the child. If it would genuinely, if it would genuinely kill me, remove the child. Would kill it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Respect the right to life, the babies, not your own. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, sure. Ah. I'll I'll remove that. Thank you. Whoa. Your life is being threatened, and the child is the one who threatens it. You own the house. It is offensive deducing that the mother I mean you. It is offensive deducing yeah. that you can do nothing. Yeah, if it's you're a, going to die, yeah. you should probably do something. Yeah. Oh boy. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Horse metaphor? Yep. Exactly what it was. The hallucinations are strong yeah. in this one. Or the child. Suppose <laughs> people seeds drift about in the air like pollen. And if you open your windows, one may drift in and take root in your carpets or upholstery. Sci-fi. What? People seeds? People? I'll pause. People seeds? Your windows with mesh screens, the very best to stop any people seeds from getting in. As can happen on a very rare occasion, one of the screens is defective and a seed drifts in and takes root. What? Should you have the choice to remove the people seed? Yes. Move the people seed. This sounds like an abortion question. I don't like politics in my hallucinations. <laughs> oh, I man. A bumper sticker. Yeah. Guns don't kill people. Abortions do. Oh, boy. Insightful analysis. Put that person on the trolley or on the track.
<laughs> oh boy. Yeah, put that person on the tra track. Have have them have let me, let me pull that lever. Jesus Christ. Oh. It does sound a bit inconvenient having a person growing out of your upholstery. If you want them, have them. If not, that's your choice. Mm-hmm. Every man is the architect of his destiny. There is a box in front of you. Oh. Inside it is your future. Oh. Oh. Ultimately, no answer here is wrong. Mm hmm It's just a choice on how you want to live your life. Do you go on an unknown journey or take control of your destiny and choose your own outcome, whatever that may be? I wouldn't want to know. I wouldn't want to know. Honestly. <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't want to know my uh my future. Because then I then I then if I see something bad, then I'd spend the rest of my life like just worrying about that one situation. Right? To the point where I wouldn't even be able to enjoy the good situations that I see. Right? Like if I was told, right, the good and the bad things that happen in like the past, like, let's say like three years, right? I wouldn't be able to enjoy the good things that happen because I'd be so scared of the bad things happening. You know, I'd be so, I'd be so terrified of the bad things happening that like, I wouldn't be able to like focus, take control, right? Or just always answer A or B. What other answer is there? Sorry. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Too scared of the unknown? Everything is unknown. Your entire future is unknown. When you when you give the, well, I think when you get the opportunity to know it, if you have something bad happen, then you're gonna be so scared of that bad thing happening. Jesus Christ. Oh, Satan's online. Oh, Satan's online. Satan's online. Satan's online. Guys, Satan's online. Satan is online. Satan's online. Uh oh. You stand tall. Uh oh. You will thrive in the unknown. That's not good. Before looking at what life people would want, 60% of people would want to know their future. Why do I hear a train? Many times before their deaths. Satan is online, Giga Chad. In front of you stands everyone you've done. Oh wrong. no. Who stands every decision you didn't want to make, but still made, or did you? Oh no. Everyone, including the dead, move towards you slowly. Hey, Every decision you've made up to this point is staring back at you. Do you run or stand firm and confront your past? Confront. It, it, this is like the very much like if there was a if there was a 600,000 zombies. Yes, I wouldn't run towards them, but this is more about like confronting if you always run away from the decisions that you haven't wanted made or the bad decisions that you made or the accidents that you made, then you never grow. You never, you never grow as a person. You just stay the same and you keep on making those decisions until they become overwhelming. And then you make a decision that's just like, wah, you know? Are you not scared of the people you have hurt? Well, I mean, obviously you'd be scared of the people that you hurt, but the fact is, is that learning from the people that you've hurt prevents you from hurting more people. That's the thing. It prevents you from then making those further decisions. Like if if you if you just keep on running away from like decisions that you've made, then you're just never going to learn on why those decisions that you made were bad in the first place because you get too scared of them. Eventually you are going to have to confront your past and now Satan wants to be friends with me. Did I make the right decision there? Oh boy. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. All good things. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You stand alone. Next to you is a railway track. A trolley is barreling down it in your direction. There's no lever in sight. What? Am I You notice the entire world sits next to you on the track. The trolley will surely hit it, killing everyone and everything. You hear a whisper. Sacrifice yourself to me, or I will take everything. What do you do? 
to save the sacrifice yourself to save the world the world is the reason why i would want to live in the first place right like if i if i if i keep myself alive but then i don't have a world then i am alone you know uh oh he's not playing the game uh oh uh oh uh oh he's playing the game He's playing the game. Bow to a god I can't look in the face. Now. Oh, this game is. Yeah. Is this? this one, yeah. How do you know they aren't lying? Well, if they are lying, then I live, and the world doesn't, and the world doesn't die. If they aren't lying, then I die, but the world still lives. So either way, the world still lives. You're selling yourself to Satan. Satan has invited you to chat. Goes dark. Here we go. From the Pitt Magistrates Court. Tell 616. Subject, justice. Your sins can no longer be ignored. Beelzebub summons you for crimes against humanity. What's up, Sentence Satan? How's it going? No How are you? It is your decision How are you? And solely yours that has brought this court together. And so, you must face your crimes and despicable acts alone. Accordingly, What's you good, man? be allocated a defense, nor will one be required. Okay, sounds good. Hope for the best. Prepare for, Prepare for the worst. Here we go. Your eyes feel heavy. The room around you is imbued with a sense of archaic evil. Overcome by the smell of sulfur, all you know for sure is that you're miles below the crust. Okay. You're swiftly escorted into a courtroom where you're put on trial. You have killed many people and a dog, among other crimes. How do you plead? Be guilty. It would be it would be guilty. I wouldn't be not guilty for that. I still did cause those. Yes. I still did cause those. Yes. So guilty. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm in Satan's court, all right, I'm going to be real. I think these guys will probably know what they're talking about. You know, <laughs> they will, they will probably know what they're talking about. So, uh, yeah. Do you feel guilt? Absolutely. It, these decisions, I would still feel guilty either way. Do you not feel you were yeah. forced into it? Well, yes, I was, but it's still technically won't. Well, I mean, okay, if the, if the, if it exists, then I don't know, because does, in the universe, does, do the, does this, like, system of questions exist that I have caused, or is it, like, a life that I have lived? I'm so confused. One, murder. Two, animal cruelty. I would have killed the dog! Three, attempting free will. Your sentence to conform without the possibility okay. of control. Okay. You will never again we couldn't have saved the dog. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. Yeah. You're at the base of Ooh. a bridge. You have no idea how you got here. A person stands before you atop the overpass. They're next to a lever. A voice whispers to you, We know what's best. Remove that choice. What? Afterwards, you can jump off a bridge with us. There is a runaway trolley traveling below you. You're part of the collective now. You can't let that person's free will get in the way of progress. Eliminate them. No. Nope. You probably should do it. Wait, what? Fit in with the group. Hashtag friends. Oh Hashtag my god. Hashtag insta good. It doesn't. It doesn't let me choose leave! It doesn't let me choose leave! 
Doesn't let me choose leave. It just straight up, yep. Yep, okay, sure. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying so hard. I'm trying so hard, guys. It keeps on moving. We're finally going to find out the answer to the age old question. No! <laughs> ah! If your friends jump off a bridge, would you? Uh, probably not. That's just because I'm terrified of heights. Really? Or unsecured heights. Should I say? So, uh, yeah, no. Thank you guys for a thousand subs today, by the way. Hope that you guys have been enjoying it. Yeah, okay, yeah, whatever. I had no choice. <gasps> Wait, there was a there was an X! Do you honestly want to kill people? Oh my god, there was an X. Would you rather be a leader? <laughs> Developers know this is a heavy-handed metaphor for the pressures of society. Do not kill each other or jump off of bridges. Oh, I should have pressed that X. I didn't notice that until like the very end. Shoot. Shoot. Masters. Shoot. This is it. Oh, wait, or just the, the X exists. Oh, I think this is just to quit the game. Wait, never mind. That's always been there. Never mind. That's just that's just that's just to quit the game. Never mind. I thought that that was like a thing that just like randomly appeared. That's been there the whole time. Okay. Do you feel society <laughs> pressures you to do things you don't want to, constantly forcing you to chase some distant concept of happiness? Uh oh. Honestly, yeah. Because happiness is different for every single person, but the thing is there is a, there exists a, oh, I was gonna go into a little spiel about that, but okay. Well, basically it's like, it's like there's very many different definitions of happiness, but the thing is there are also definitions of happiness that are constantly shown, but the thing is those are only a few like those are only few like those don't apply to everyone but the thing is everyone thinks that those apply to everyone so then everyone tries to strive for those when that just might not be what makes them happy that's what i was gonna say but yeah that was a good game that was a that was a pretty good game i liked it made me stressed as hell made me made me stressed as hell but um was a good game was a good game genuinely yeah car game now yeah okay like look at this i the thing is they get you and dead dog okay total agreement with world 48.1 percent. really okay oh man oh man this was yeah no this was this was yeah this was this was all right this was all right it was a lot but that was all right very good um driving sim will have to be tomorrow as i have a meeting pretty soon so yeah um yeah driving sim will be tomorrow okay sorry about that all right but well that'll be the stream for today uh, thank you guys for watching. Once again, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream and everything. Hope that you guys aren't too stressed. We'll, we'll relax with the, with the car game tomorrow. We'll relax with the car game tomorrow. Um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to follow, if you want to subscribe, have your name on screen for a little bit while the people that are auto-playing this on YouTube and just listen to the VOD, um, have this play on their TV or whatever, you can, you can do that. You can have your name on screen for a little bit. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Uh, I've got a meeting that I have to go for that I also have to prepare stuff for because I have not prepared m as much as I should have. But I'm going to I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. Ah, oh, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. All right, <laughs> all right. I'll see you guys. I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. Hope that you guys enjoyed this stream. Um, hey, thank you, loveliness, for the five tier ones. Thank you. Uh, thank you guys for 1,187 subs today. It means a lot. Um, once again, thank you guys for all the support over the past almost two years now. So, we're coming up. 
We're coming up on two years. It's almost, it's a little over a month from two years. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next stream, which will be the driving simulators tomorrow. See you guys then. All right. Bye. -bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 See ya.